Hello YouTube, I'm and today I'm making another tutorial. Today we're going to be our first job tutorial. Now I've been making, I've been on YouTube for about two years right now and I've been making gaming tutorials the whole time, so um, why should you learn Java? Well, um, first of all, Java versus a game maker. A game maker is a whole lot simpler and Java is like a more advanced version of game maker in simple terms. So, first of all, Java being able to make games. Um, Java is a very good program for making games. It, some examples of games that made of Java are Minecraft and RuneScape. Minecraft has 8 million registered, registered players right now, and RuneScape has 175 million registered players right now. So there, there's nothing about money to be made for as far as gaming goes. But Java is so much more than that. It's used all over the place in web design. It's used a lot in software development. All Android phones are based on Java, and, and Blu-ray technology is also a Java-based system. There's also more hands-on things that use Java. Many train systems around the world are based off Java, and and also a lot of military technology uses Java. And despite all of its being so useful, it's actually very quite easy to use compared to other advanced programming languages like C or C++. It's also number one on the TOB index. The TOB index is an index that rates popularity of programming languages, and Java is number one, with second place being C and third place being C++. So if you want to learn Java, you're in the right place. It's a free program, and today we're going to learn how to, how to install it on your computer. So see you guys there. So before we start downloading Java, um, let's find out whether you, actually, whether you have Java installed already. Um, in order to do that, press Start, and type on CMD. And the first thing that should pop up is CMD, or Command Prompt. And then just simply type down Java C. If it shows it like that, with just like it does with me, then that means you do not have it installed. So just collapse that, and now we'll install it. Um, in order to find it, we'll type down Java JDK, and the first thing that pops up will be will be this link, should lead to Oracle.com, and then from here we'll download it. Now here are all the da Java downloads right here. You see JDK and JRE. JDK stands for Java Development Kit, and JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. Java Development Kit is for people who want to make stuff with Java, and Java Runtime Environment is people who just want to run Java programs and don't really care about the JDK. So we want the Java JDK, and we're going to download it. And it says accept the license agreement. If you want to read it, that's fine with me. I wouldn't read it though. Um, then choose your platform that fits with you. If you're Windows, like I'm assuming most of you are, and you don't know the difference between x86 and x64, there's an easy way to check. Go to start computer, and then from there, go to your local SD. And you see here, I have program files x86. If you just have program files, that means you're not x86. And if you have the x86 right there, it means that you have an x86 processor. And so if you have that, do x86. If you don't, go with x64. So I'll be going with x86. And just save it anywhere. This is simply the setup. And you can see here, I'm waiting for it to download. While it's downloading, I'll go with some history of Java. Java was developed by James Gosling. And it was released in 1995. Java was originally called Oak, named after the oak tree outside James Gosling's office. And from there it was called Green, and then it was called Java. It was called Java because supposedly the developers drank enormous amounts of Java while they are making Java. Java became um, well known because it was easy to use compared to other major programming languages like C or C++. And it was very compatible with other systems, which hence the slogan, Write once, run anywhere. So that was timed pretty well. Once you got it downloaded, you can just open it, and it should start like this, whatever. Alright, so now we can start installing it from here. It's the next few times. Here's update progress. Java was developed by Sun System, that's, that's who James Gosling worked with. And as you can see here, it says Oracle. Microsystems System sold out to Oracle a couple years ago. And um, let's see, the newest update of Java is Java 7. It came out in, back in July, so it's pretty new. As you can see, this says update 1. So we, we still got a while to go for in Java 8. So you're pretty up to date right now. Or maybe you're watching this later in Java 9 is already out. Who knows? Okay, so um, the Java JDK installer setup looks like it wants to install a JRE as well now. So we'll just go with it, I guess. 3 billion devices run Java. I talked about this in the beginning, but there really are a lot of things that run, run with Java. It's a pretty major programming language. Alright, Java update 1 is successfully installed. And now we've got to... Remember earlier when we typed on Java C right here and it didn't work? Well, it still doesn't work. In order to make it work, we have to have Java C in the path. And what the path is, is all of the files that are 
automatically disposable to command prompt from this stage without having to go to the correct directory. So in order to do that, we must first find the directory where Java C is located, go under program x86 or program files depending which one you installed, and look for Java. And you have several of them right here. Here's the JRE we installed. I already had Java 7 download, um, installed, but now I just installed Java 7 update 1, which is this one right here. So we'll go under that one. Bin. And Java C is right about... There it is. That's Java C. And that's the file that we need to be, have accessible to command prompt from the without going to this directory. So we'll copy this directory. And then click start. Right click on my computer. My computer, not control panel. Click properties. Go to advanced system settings. And I probably should warn you that this is very sensitive business right here. If you mess this up, you could harm your computer. So be very careful that and make be sure that you copy my steps exactly. So go to environmental and variables, and then we're gonna find the path I talked about earlier. Path, edit, and then we're gonna add it onto the path right here. So put a semicolon to end off the previous one, and then paste the directory we got earlier. And that's all you should need to do. Okay, okay, just get out of this. Now go back in the command prompt. And now we'll try it again, Java C. Oops, was afraid of. Okay, that was scary. Um, so first restart command restart command promise I got scared just now. You need to re restart it. And then we'll try it again, type in Java C, and you get all this stuff. Instead of say, instead of saying, sorry, we have no idea what you're talking about, it's saying, Yes, we know what that is, but you got to add something else onto it, which means that Command Prompt knows what we're talking about. And that's all for this tutorial. Next tutorial, we're going to talk about some programming stuff. And um, I'll have a challenge in the, at the end of the videos usually, but in this one, I'm not because if you've accomplished this, that's a challenge enough. For me, when learning Java, this is probably the hardest part getting it installed. So once you go over this slope, you're, that, that's a good thing. Okay, we'll see you guys next tutorial.